Is anybody interested in hearing from some more uh, startups? Yeah? Well, you're going to have to wait just another minute <laughs> while, while I say just a couple of things. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you so much, Coach Beheim, for uh, being here. Uh, Coach was uh, very gracious to uh, uh, address us today, and I think his messages are, uh, are, are very analogous of uh, what a lot of these startup teams face. A lot of things he said resonate with me as a, uh, as a uh, startup founder. And I wanted to say a little bit about uh, the other aspect of Coach Beheim's example to us all is this uh, idea of service. This idea of doing something for someone else or doing something for your community. You know, I started uh, at Syracuse University as a freshman, graduated, went away for a year, came back for grad school, and uh, started a, a company here. And I had a lot of satisfaction in working with the business community here, raising financial investment from Syracuse investors, and having um, a successful exit for that business. It was so good, I decided to do it again. And after doing it four times, it uh, occurred to me that uh, it would be important to take some of the lessons that I'd learned about the one million and six mistakes that I had made along the way and, and write them down and share those things with other people. But uh, I had the good fortune at that time in 2008 of meeting um, a very, very dear friend of mine today, Nasser Ali, who was your uh, initial master of ceremonies. And Nasser told me about something else that I could do. He was just starting up the Seed Capital Fund of Central New York, and he had convinced 40 uh, leaders from the community to write a check to put money in the fund to invest in companies around this region. And, uh, and he said, you know, you've had some winnings with all these exits. Why don't, uh, why don't you join us? And I said, well, are you only interested in my money? And he said, yes. No, he said, no. <laughs> he said, this fund is going to be driven by the investors. We need your expertise. You're, you're a very technical guy. You can help us do due diligence on some of these teams. You can help us recruit some of these teams. You can help, you can make a real difference. And you can get to know some of the leaders in the community who are stepping up in that role of leadership. These are not political leaders. These are not people that run giant companies for the most part. These are everyday people who have a little bit extra money, who can put it in an alternative investment vehicle and vote with their time and their energy and their checkbook. And I said, well, that sounds really good. How much does it cost to get in? And he told me, I went home and told my wife, um, honey, I got a, an idea. Um, <laughs> at, at which point she sits down and says, oh, no, here we go. And I said, if we had, you remember that job I had? If we had moved down there to that other community, this would be the price of a country club membership in that community. Just to, and I want to join this country club. I'm going to join Nasser's country club. And I don't want to golf. I don't want to swim in the pool. I want to look at investments. I want to talk to startup companies. I want to stay current. I want to learn about the latest and greatest technology. And we might not get a return. We have to be prepared to lose 100% of this money. She said, OK, well, all that sounds good. But there's one difference between the country club membership and the check you have to write for, to Nasser is you have to write that check each and every year. It's not just a one-time initiation fee. I said, okay, but I hear you, but let's, let's, let's jump in. She said, hey, do what you want to do. Now, that was 10 years ago, <laughs> and I've been writing Nasser checks every year <laughs> for the last 10 years, and I do not regret one bit of it. So. So I want you to look at the person, at the people sitting next to you. Look to your left, look to your right. There are future investments in this crowd, future investors in this crowd. You might have someone looking at you right now. You might find it interesting. The thing I want to say is, sure, sometimes we make a little money on these investments, but the satisfaction 
of giving back, of paying it forward, of helping these young companies grow is worth way more than the returns. Now, who wants to hear from some more startups? Yeah. All right. Okay, so I think, I think we have two more fantastic startups who are going to speak to us. And don't be afraid. I'm bringing up Dean Joseph again. But don't be afraid. He's actually going to introduce the next team. So with that, here you go. By the way, I'm Chuck Storman. <laughs>